the Ground Zero Maiden Hurdle is next. This is a two and a half mile maiden. For the older horses, and the top one is Circus Tory for Paul Rhodes, Dante Martin, Liam, Swiss Gris, Stu Gray, Ellis Chip, Alex Cherry, Lady Writer, Craig Beckwith, Lucky Bell, Obi Wan, Ribera, Alta, Darren Thompson, and Yearbook Leggings for Ben Bonici. So eight this time. Called in and away. One of them will lose their maiden certificate as they make their way to the first of the 14 flights of hurdles to take. And the yearbook leggings is the early leader from Dante in second. And Ellis Chip back in third. It's a fairly long one of the first, but they finally made it. And over it they will go with Ribera Alter, just the back marker. But yearbook leggings is in the lead for. Ben Benici, I'm not sure Ben Benici's had a jump team before, but he's enjoyed it if it's his first season jumping. I certainly don't see those colours on the jump tracks very often, but number three is where they're at now, and Yearbook Leggings is the leader from a Swiss Gris. Or Stu Gray in second, back after a year in retirement. Not the horse, the trainer, as they get over number four. Well, I think he may have actually entered a couple of Horses later on in the season, but anyway, yearbook leggings is in the lead. Swiss Gris is second. Then comes Lady Ryder in third. Sorcus Tory on the outside in one of those new sets of Paul Rhodes colours, which is still taking a while to get used to. And then in the purple, Dante is returning after after two seasons. He was a four-year-old two seasons ago. Uh, didn't do too bad, didn't manage to win a race, which is why he's in this. But it did enough to come back as a six year old after missing his five year old campaign you can tell he's one of my older horses because he's still got my old purple silks that have now been taken over by David Hooley but it's yearbook leggings who's in the lead one of two horses I think that I've still got from the all purple days anyway they take number five and I'll stop waffling and yearbook leggings is the clear leader by six to Lady Roger who's gone second and Ribera Alter is third and Circus Tory fourth as they get over number six with Ellis Chip after that one. The only grey in the field is Lucky Bell. And his yearbook leggings coming down to number seven. Uh, skips over that one. With a clear lead. Rivera Alter is in second. As so they pass the winning post then. Going on their final circuit. Some good days racing at Weatherby. We've seen some good races already today. Yearbook Leggings is the leader from Ribera Alter in second. Then Lady Roger is third and Dante is fourth. Then comes Ellis Chip in fifth and Lucky Bell six. And then Circus Tory seven. And finally Swiss Gris at the back. We're racing down towards the final mile now then. And Yearbook Leggings is in the lead. With Dante now moving through to second. So they get over number eight. Safely over that one as well. The hurling's been good. And Dante's now coming up to challenge for the lead. So Dante then coming up to take it over as they get over number nine. Immediately pressed over by Lady Writer on the outside. Yearbook Leggage is battling back on the inside as they take number ten. And Yearbook Leggage took that one really well. So too did Lady Writer. And they've taken a length out of Dante, who's now back in third. Rubera Alter is fourth. Then Ellis Chip as they get to the eleventh. And over that one. They're all safe there already again with the grey lucky bell just finding the pace a little bit hot now then. And they've got just three more flights to take and five furlongs to race as they begin the long sweeping turn into the home straight. And the Lady Writer on the outside with yearbook leggings on the inside and Dante going to try and come between the two swinging around the outside. And his chip looks to be going really well. Also he doesn't like to have made a move on Ribera Alter yet and Circus Tory is trying to get into it. Then a gap. Back to Swiss Gris and Lucky Bell who might well be out of it, but now Ellis Chip has shot on into the lead. And it's Ellis Chip who suddenly finds himself a length and a half clear. Ellis Chip has gone on the other th those three that were leading him in and go dropping away. Lady Wright is still sticking on in second. Those circus Tories trying to run and they come down towards the third from home. Then Ellis Chip runs straight through the top of it and allows Circus Tory to take it up. It's Circus Tory. Lady Wright are trying to fight back. Then comes Bucco and Ribera Alta. They come down towards in second last thing now and Circus Tory is over in the lead. It's Circus Tory then who's about a length and a half clear of Lady Wright and Ribera Alter at the final flight and Circus Tory jumps it while the rest of them are trying to close but Circus Tory looks like he's got enough in hand. He's beginning to tie those and race up towards one. Ribera Alter is finishing fast. It's going to be Circus Tory just away from Ribera Alter. 
after that one came Lady Rochelle's chip Dante after that all the way back to Lucky Bill I think the poor Rhodes horse has just took on from Ribera all to Lady Rocha third and his chip fourth and Dante fifth that looks to be the finishing order to me and indeed it is, it's Circus Tory for Paul Rhodes that takes it, Ramirez, Alter Darren Thompson second, Lady Wright for Craig Beckwith was third, Ellis Chip for Alex Cherry was fourth, and Dante was fifth. <laughs>